Hi, this is Bill with Dine Drink Vegas. It is January of 2023, and I'm here inside Sean George Steakhouse in the Aria Las Vegas. I've just had an excellent meal, and what I'm going to do right now is walk you through the space to show you what to expect. On this channel, we never make you watch us eat, so after I've walked you through the space, I'll come back and show you some still photos of the delicious things that I enjoy. The tables are set beautifully, and they have a full service bar with a lot of premium whiskeys. I enjoyed all the various things that I had. The ambiance is kind of dark, and I don't, I'm trying to figure out what the word is for the ambiance, maybe modern. And this is the room I sat in. But it's a big, big space with lots of room for folks. You can see a giant wine selection. One of the things you do want to know if you're going to eat here is that it's a fairly pricey eat, but it's one of my couple of favorite steakhouses in Vegas. Let's go around here to the side. I apologize. So you have more space over here, so it is an enormous restaurant. I hope this gives you a sense of what it looks like, what it feels like, what the ambiance is to dine here. What I'm going to do in just a second is come back and show you still photos of some of the things that I had to eat and to drink because I really enjoyed my meal. And as you hear me give those descriptions, the only real drawback is going to be the price of what it cost. I'll be right back. So I showed you the ambiance of Jean-Georges on my walkthrough at the restaurant. It's a nice, sleek place. And as you get in, they paid a lot of attention to little details. The table is set perfectly. They even do nice touches like their own engraved napkins, which suggest you're about to enjoy an upscale steakhouse experience. So it started off great, and then very quickly, they brought me some bread that they made in-house. That bread was excellent. It was actually four pull-apart rolls that was designed to look like a loaf of bread. They brought it with some butter, which was at exactly the right temperature. I hate it when the butter's cold, and you really can't spread it all over your bread, but here you could. The green stuff on top are some little bitty scallions. So the meal is off to a great start, and... If you watched Dine Drink Vegas for any length of time, you already know that we started this meal with a cocktail, because of course we did. Um, if you don't know that, then go watch some of our other videos of steakhouses and other restaurants in Vegas. But yeah, I was able to talk to the waiter who was knowledgeable about what vodkas they had, what bourbons they had. I appreciate it when my waiter's on point with that kind of knowledge. Um, I said I wanted a vodka martini with an orange twist. I must have ordered Belvedere vodka, because that's what I do. None of that was a problem. My cocktail is great, so the meal is starting off fantastically. And what I decided to do was create my own surf and turf. Not a surf and turf like they had it on the menu. I just got the bacon wrapped shrimp for my appetizer, and they tasted great. Now, it's not a huge appetizer. There were three shrimp on the plate. Um, those were really, really expensive shrimp, but they came with some bacon that was cooked to the perfect temperature. And as you look at this picture... There's a nice visual pop to it. They brought it with some broccoli and some cauliflower that were colored. Some nice um, red seasoning on the side, but it was a nice visual pop. It looked good, and it had me in exactly the right mood to enjoy the rest of my meal. As a general rule, when I'm going into a steakhouse for the first time, and certainly when I'm doing a review here for Dine Drink Vegas, I tend to get the ribeye so I can compare a consistent cut. Now, sometimes I'll do a rib cap, here I did the bone-in ribeye. It was very good. It was cooked to exactly the right temperature, and this is what's critical. It actually was seasoned correctly. Um, the Most of the steakhouses I go to in Vegas, they don't do a great job of seasoning their steaks, and this is one of two places in Vegas where I've been happy with the seasoning. The other was Oscars in downtown at the Plaza. Now, not Barry's downtown prime at the Circa, but Oscars. Oscars and Jean George are the only ones who season their steak correctly. It's like they're not afraid of salt and pepper and everybody else is. So I had a great steak, but what really made it was the sauces they brought with it. And this isn't something that you pay extra for. I didn't even ask for it. I didn't know it was coming. These sauces just showed up. So starting at the bottom left is a tamarind sauce. The tamarind sauce was very good. But it was a little bit sweeter than I prefer with my steak. So I had a couple of bites of it. I enjoyed it, but I moved on. Moving up, at the top left was a Bernays sauce, which was great. I really liked it, but it was just a classic Bernays. So if that's what you want, cool. If you're looking for something upscale, or not upscale, if you're looking for something different, that's not going to be your thing. At the top right was a soy miso. I like the soy miso very much. 
and below it at the bottom right was a scotch bonnet hot sauce. And while it was hot, I mean, it was made with scotch bonnet peppers, it wasn't as hot as the name implied. But one of the things that I enjoy about this restaurant is that the wait staff is on point. They're working hard to make sure that you enjoy your meal. And my waiter came by as soon as that was delivered to my table and said, hey, you should try dipping the steak in the, uh, in the soy miso sauce and then in the scotch bonnet or vice versa, but essentially dip the steak in both of those pieces of sauce. And he was right. And that is the, the combination of those two things was the best sauce I've ever had on a steak. The soy miso took just a little bit of the heat of the scotch bonnet off and it was fantastic on top of a steak that was already seasoned very well. So my entree was great. One of the only kind of mildly disappointing parts of it was the side orders. I got the cream spinach, and disappointing isn't the right phrase because it was it was fine. Um, it just I'm not sure why I paid twenty bucks for spinach, right? And it was fresh spinach. It was good. I enjoyed it. It was more than one person needed. I'm not sure if it was enough for side orders for two people. Um, so it was sort of shareable, right? Um, if you were three people, I'd probably get two side orders to split between you. By the time it came for dessert, I wasn't hungry. There was no possible way that I was going to fit any dessert down me. But I wanted to enjoy the experience a little bit longer, so I got the port. They had several port options, which were really good. And again, my waiter was able to talk to me about what those choices were. It was a really nice way to end the meal. And frankly, it was the... Um, responsible for some of the mistakes you saw in the walkthrough videos, such as my phrase, the price of what things cost. So where does Jean George fit overall? It is one of my two favorite steakhouses in Vegas, and I would absolutely go back. The other is Oscars. And the thing that I like about both of these places is that they season the steaks fantastically and the service is very, very good. They've also both got excellent cocktail menus. And which one you prefer probably comes down to what kind of an atmosphere you're going for. Um, I don't always have the money to go eat at Jean Georges. Now, if you're in the South Strip and if you know you've got money to blow cool or center strip, I, I would do it. I think I'm balanced even setting that aside. I, I, I think I prefer Oscars, but it's a close call partially because the sauces here at Jean Georges were so very, very good. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Um, what we try to do here at Dine Drink Vegas is bring you short, focused videos to give you the information you need to plan your next trip to Vegas. If we've done that, I would really appreciate your support for the channel by having you click like and subscribe and by telling your friends about what we do here. We also love to interact with our viewers, so make a comment in the comment section below. Tell us what your favorite steakhouse is. Ask us any questions you have. We would love to hear from you. Thanks so much, and happy travels.